with child labor. Many of you have probably came across a news article or had a discussion on this topic before. But do you really know what child labor means? What type of child labor is there in the world today? What is the current situation of child labor? If your answer to these questions is not a confident yes, fret not. Because today, I'm here to help expand your knowledge on this topic by answering these questions. Firstly, let me start off with the definition of child labor. According to the International Labor Organization, child labor is defined as work that deprives children of their childhood, potential, and dignity that is harmful to both their physical and mental development. Child labor means work that is prohibited for children for all certain age groups. It is work that is performed by children that who are under the minimum age legally specified for that kind of work or work which, because of its detrimental conditions or nature, is considered unacceptable for children. But it is also important to know that not all work done by children should be considered as child labor that is to be targeted for elimination. Children's and adolescents' participation in work that does not affect their health and personal development or interfere with their schooling should is generally considered as something positive. This includes activities such as helping out their parents at home, um, assisting in family's business, or earning pocket money during outside of school hours and during school holidays. This kind of activities contribute to their personal development and to the welfare of their family. They provide them with skills and experience that help train them to be productive members of the society during their adult life. Secondly, let's look at the statistics of child labor around the world today. According to this child labor investment, Countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, such as Eritrea and Somalia, have the highest number of child laborers recorded. Almost 10% of all Sub-Saharan African children are involved in child labor. Recent global estimates by ECA indicates that there are about 168 million child laborers around the world today, of whom more than two-thirds are aged 5 to 14 years old. In addition, these children do not go to school and receive no proper nutrition or care. They have little or no time to play. They are denied the chance to be children. More than half of them are exposed to the worst forms of child labor in the world. This includes working in hazardous environments, slavery, or other forms of forced labor. Thirdly, I would like to talk about the different sectors of child labor in the world today. There is, according to the statistics by International Labor Organization, there is a whopping 57% of child laborers in the agricultural sector. This is followed by the industry, services, and domestic work sector. The agricultural sector includes activities such as hunting, forestry, farming, and fishing. Now, I'm going to give you an example of a typical story of a child laborer in the agricultural sector. From a young age of six years old, the child is expected to combine school with work that is too heavy and long for their body. Over time, the child is underachieving at school because they are too tired and are not able to attend school regularly due to work. Between ages of 12 to 14, the child is expected to leave school and is only and now only works. At 15 to 17, the child has reached the minimum age of employment but is still engaged in hazardous work. That means he or she is still involved in child labor. The child is also deprived of the opportunity to benefit from education and vocational training. The child is now a young adult, but has not had the chance to develop skills needed to obtain decent work. He or she is trapped in unskilled employment, receives low wages, has weak social security, and limited bargaining capacity. Due to years of performing hazardous tasks as a child, the young adult may now be disabled or suffer from chronic effects of occupational disease. Agriculture is hence a sector where many children are effectively denied the chance of education which blights the future of escaping from the cycle of poverty. Next, another type of child labor can be found in the industry sector. The industry sector includes activities such as mining, manufacturing, and construction. As seen from these pictures, these children are not equipped with safety gears or equipment when they perform these dangerous work. As a result, they are more susceptible to injuries and accidents, which can be fatal sometimes. Now, let me show you a short video to give you a glimpse 
of how life is for children working in the industry sector. This video is about child children miners working in one of Tunisia's small scale gold mines. The knob. Oh. Okay. Thousands of children in Tanzania work in small scale gold mining. Some of them are as young as eight years old. And this is very dangerous, hazardous work. <laughs> As you can see from the video, children working in the mines are also at a higher risk for short and long term health effects due to the chemicals, dust, and deadly metals. Their growing bodies can be permanently deformed because they strain them by carrying heavy boats or tubes. Their respiratory systems suffer to constant dust inhalation and the toxic chemicals and deadly metals do serious damage to their nervous system. The children are kept from school and have little or no access to health care services. According to Janie Mornap, a researcher for Human Rights Watch, mining is strenuous work and is considered one of the most dangerous professions in the world. Long hours, hard physical labor, and often cramped conditions can contribute to er human errors in an already dangerous environment. If it is dangerous for well-trained adults to work in regulated mines, Imagine how dangerous it would be for the, million, one, for the estimated 1 million children in Africa, Latin America, Europe, and Asia that work in unregulated mines. In conclusion, whether or not particular form of works can be considered as child labor depends on the child's age, the type and hours of work performed, the conditions under which work is performed, and the objectives pursued by the individual countries. The answer varies from countries to countries, as well as among different sectors within the country. But one thing we know for sure is that millions of children around the world today are involved in work that under any circumstances is considered unacceptable for children. Thank you. All right, Shawnee, what did you think? Um, I think she had a great preview and she was very clear on her points. She didn't really use her note cards very much, so she knew the material well. And it seemed very well practiced. She may have stumbled a little bit, but then she caught herself on it. She used her note card to catch herself, which is really good. And she knew um, like the numbers. She knew her data very well. Um, she had clear transitions. And her PowerPoint was simple and easy to understand for anyone who may have not been familiar with the topic. Um, I liked her examples and her information was well organized. And she set it up in a good chronological order, like to where it kind of flowed together and it sounded really well. All right. Well, I'll agree with a lot of the things that you just said about the speech. I thought that there was a, oh my goodness, it's an earthquake. Do you hear it? It's an earthquake. Duck! Cover! Under your desks! Duck! 